All right, everyone, we start off today talking about swatting, actually, because that's, you know, sort of back in the news. Marjorie Taylor Greene got swatted over Christmas. The day before that, Jack Posobiec and his family got swatted. Uh, and it seems to be a little bit of a resurgence of an old tactic that's typically used by leftoids. And here's my suggestion for how to stop it, because clearly something <laughs> needs to be done about this. I think that it should carry an automatic attempted murder charge. Because when you are claiming that somebody else has gone and killed their family or, you know, strangling puppies or something like that, and you get heavily armed riot police showing up, um, possibly with legal culpability, it could put them in danger as well. If they're fired upon, somebody's like just minding their own business, all of a sudden their door gets kicked down, they might open fire. I think it should carry an attempted murder charge, uh, in my opinion. The way to actually do that would be to uh, make it automatic that everything that goes into the police station is traced. Um, and, and I'm sure that they can figure that out, although people find a way around it, at least for the moron end of the uh, spectrum, which is most people that would engage in swatting, uh, then you can catch them. And I think they should be not only criminally, but civilly liable as well. Uh, because we've, we've seen this before. Leftoids don't like to debate. Um, they don't like anyone saying anything that they don't like because they're mental midgets. Uh, they, they can't debate. Um, they don't have good arguments. They're not good at rhetoric. They're, they're not good at explaining themselves in general. So instead of using free speech, which they abhor anyway, what they seek to do is to prevent others from using their free speech. One of the ways to do that is intimidation. Uh, you see groups of leftists, of course, will get together and burn down Wendy's and so forth, or make their Chaz garden. I think that my garden this year single-handedly will be better than the Chaz garden with the collected efforts of hundreds of communists. I wonder why. You know, famine is associated with leftoidism for a reason. But uh, swatting is uh, rather pernicious. It should carry an attempted murder charge because you are effectively attempting to get somebody fucking killed. You're saying that they've committed some sort of violent felony that warrants a warrantless, no-knock search of their home, and people show up with heavy weaponry and body armor, etc. They all scramble and they go in. You get in trouble if you call 911 and, uh, you know, you know, ring them up and say, hee hee, fuck, or something. I, I learned that as a kid, by the way. I was five years old at the time, so... You know, I, I, I claim my uh, youthful indiscretion. There was one time back in the era of, of uh, telephone booths, uh, my family was getting gas and I think scratch off tickets and shit at the uh, local, I uh, uh, can't remember exactly what the station was called at the time, a gas station. It was a telephone booth out front and uh, I dialed 911 and the responder, you know, answers. And I said, fuck, and then I hung up and I was laughing about that until the patrol car pulled up about a minute later because I didn't realize how close the police and fire stations were. They weren't very happy about that, by the way. Of course, I was, felt uh, guilty at the time, like I didn't, I, I didn't uh, mean to distract the firemen or anything like that. You get in trouble. You know, a little kid does it, of course, they're not going to go to jail or something like that. And do that and you're 20 and then people think you're nuts and you probably end up in the asylum. Why is it that, therefore, you can call up the police and claim Marjorie Taylor Greene has gone on a shooting spree or Jack Posobiec has killed his kids and is on a rampage and the police show up and nothing is done about it. The only other possibility is that we need to create like a docket uh, for people that are reasonably notable, especially on the internet, especially in the political capacity to prevent this from happening. Like uh, uh, it's suggested that if you're audiences of, of considerable size, like I guess mine would qualify, you should check in with your local sheriff and say, hey, you know, I make political content online and, and you know, 100,000 people will watch me tomorrow. So if you get a tip that at this particular address there's been an axe murder, it's probably bullshit uh, because I'm not into axe murdering people. In my opinion, though, while that's sound advice, and it should be followed by people that have, you know, a reasonably large audience. If it's in the five-figure margin, then you've got a target on your back unless you're a leftoid. Right-wingers don't tend to do this. I wonder why there's a differentiation. While it's a good idea, you shouldn't have to. There should be some sort of automated process to protect those who wish to speak out, speak to a large audience, and the, you know, the onus should not be on them to have to go to their local sheriff and the local police and the stadies and shit like that and explain to them, hey, by the way, if you ever get a call that I'm 
in my window with a sniper rifle killing my neighbors, it's probably horseshit. And then you should, so when you show up, don't worry, you can knock on the door and you're not going to get shot or something. The onus should not be on us to have to do that. Supposedly, the system is there for justice. Supposedly, you know, people are supposed to be able to speak freely. There's a First Amendment for a reason. It's the First Amendment for a reason, etc., etc. But it's not really, uh, it's not really actionable now, is it? In the end, it is a kind of horseshit because the onus is always on us to have to explain to the system, hey, you know, somebody might uh, call up and say that I just went on a rape spree or something and you show up in your full body armor and I've got no fucking clue what's going on. That's the way that it should be. Automatic tracing, an automatic registry of sorts. I wouldn't mind being on that list particularly. Hey, Sticks, Hex, and Hammer lives here. He talks politics online. He's got a lot of people that don't fucking like him, and so, you know, at some point we might get called uh, saying that he's stabbing people to death or something like that. The onus shouldn't be on us. And it should re result in an automatic attempted murder charge plus civil liability. I think that people that engage in swatting not only should go to prison, I think they should be bankrupted. I think their lives should be ruined because they're attempting to have people killed. It's an intimidation tactic. It's not one that actually shuts anyone up. Well, a few commentators have rage quit over it, but for the most part, you know, uh, we remain tame. I've never myself been swatted, but, you know, it's probably only a matter of time because of the dysfunctional system and the times that we live in. Uh, and, of course, I happen to be in the belly of the beast, so to speak. I'm in one of the most far-left states in the Union. Uh, I'm not worried about my own safety, but, you know, there are other people around, and that's just not necessary. It always mystifies me, though, how poor leftists are at rhetoric, how poorly they debate. I mean, I could get wasted off my ass and smoke crack and probably out-debate most leftists. It's that easy. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. These people uh, have nothing to say, and so they don't want anyone else to be able to say anything. That's basically the long and short of it. It's the heckler's veto only on steroids. If it's sort of like when they show up at a, a university event. Somebody that they don't like, some commentator is talking about the border or something, uh, taxes, and they shout them down. They're not attempting to speak. They're not making a counter argument. They're not holding a counter rally or anything like that. They're simply uh, trying to shut the person up. Sometimes they'll riot and they'll try to block off the venue. It's basically the same thing. Of course, heckling somebody in a university setting is a little bit different from trying to get them shot by the cops. I think it should carry an automatic attempted murder charge, and I think there should be mandatory minimum sensing, sentencing for it as well. Unfortunately, nobody's taking any specific civic action to try to get the ball rolling on this, but I think it's a long past due. That's about all. Peace out.